Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade functional equation. Now, even though I call this homemade, this is no big deal because it's very easy to come up with these kinds of equations. Once you get the idea, you can come up with one too. So we have x times f of x plus f of x plus 2 equals x squared. And we're supposed to evaluate f of 8. Now, what type of function is this? Is it from reals to reals? I believe so. We'll, we're going to find out. But I'll, be, I'll try to present two methods. I don't know if one of my methods is going to work. I'm just going to test it out. OK? Ready to explore? Let's get started. So for my first method, I'm going to make an assumption. And this may not be necessarily true. That's why I say I'm going to test this method out. Now looking at this expression, f of x is multiplied by x. And then f of x plus 2 is added. So f of x and f of x plus 2 are kind of similar, except for the fact that you should shift the function, two units. And the result is quadratic. So I'm thinking f of x might be a linear function. Obviously, we didn't say f of x is a polynomial, but I'm just making an assumption. What, what is so wrong about that, right? So I'm just going to assume that f of x is linear and call it ax plus b. You can also call mx plus b. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to plug it in. So f of x is going to be ax plus b. Replace it with that. And f of x plus 2 means just replace the x with x plus 2 in f of x. And then set the whole thing equal to x squared. Now I'm going to try to find the a and b values from here. If I can find an expression for f of x, then I can plug in 8 and find f of 8. But wait for my second method because that's going to be more fun. Okay, maybe this is fun too. Who knows? So here... We're going to go ahead and distribute. This is going to give us ax squared plus bx plus ax plus 2a plus b equals x squared. Now let's put it together. ax squared plus b plus ax. You could also do alphabetical. I guess that's going to be better for my OCD. a plus b multiplied by x plus 2a or not 2a, well, it didn't work, 2b. I should have switched them around. <laughs> Anyways, so you get the idea, hopefully. Now, these are, treat these as two polynomials that are um, always equal for all values of x. So this means the coefficient of x squared must be 1. And there's no x on the right-hand side, so we're going to set the coefficient equal to 0. And there's no constant on the right-hand side, we're going to set this equal to 0 as well. Let's see if this is going to be consistent, because we have a system of three equations in two variables. So that could be problematic, right? Obviously. If a is 1 and a plus b is 0, that indicates b equals negative 1. But then 2a plus b is going to be 2 minus 1, and that's not equal to 0. Unfortunately, our system didn't work, which means my assumption didn't lead anywhere, but that's perfectly fine. So you kind of get to see a method that I think about, and then I apply it, but it doesn't work, so we go back and try another method. Make sense? This didn't work. Hopefully, you're not disappointed, but like, how come he could use a method that doesn't work? I didn't know it would work, right? I was just trying. Anyways, let's go ahead and proceed with the second method. Now, if you can think of a third method for this problem, please let me know because I'm curious. But anyways, let's proceed with the second method. For my second one, let me rewrite the original problem. x times f of x plus f of x plus 2 equals x squared. Great. We could also discuss what type of function is this. Is it defined from integers to integers? Or is it defined from reals to reals? That's going to be another story. Anyways, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find f of 8 directly for my second method without finding f of x, because I don't think we can find f of x. In this case, please correct me if I'm wrong. OK, so here's what I'm going to do. I've immediately noticed, that's actually how I wrote the problem, by the way. Just pretend that I immediately noticed something. Hopefully you did too. That if I replace x with 0, then I'm going to get rid of one of the functional pieces, whatever that's called. I'm going to get rid of f of x. So replacing x with 0 is a good idea. Make sense? So if I had x minus 3 multiplied by f of x and then blah, 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 then replacing x with 3 would be the right move. Make sense? OK, I hope it does. These are basic functional equations that don't require that much you know, uh, process. 
So, let's go ahead and replace x with 0 everywhere. If you do that, you're going to get 0 plus f of 2 equals 0. What does that tell you? This tells you that f of 2 is equal to 0. Okay, great. How is that going to help us? Here's the thing. Between x and x plus 2, there are two steps. So I'm at 2 right now, and I'm trying to go to 8. So by taking steps of 2, I, am hopeful, I can hopefully go to 8. Does that make sense? So step length is 2, and I'm at 2 right now. So let's go ahead and do the following next. Since my x is smaller than x plus 2, let's replace x with 2 now. Okay? If I replace x with 2, then I get 2 times f of 2 plus f of 2 plus 2, which is 4, equals 2 squared, which is 4. Now, I do know from the previous equation that f of 2 is equal to 0. So now is a good time to replace f of 2 with 0. Is that always going to be 0? No, you'll see it's not always going to be like that. But that part is 0. That leaves me with f of 4 equals 4. Okay, great. Now, let's go ahead and find the next value. What is the next value, you think? It's going to be f of 6. Yes, because that's our how much our step is. So let's go ahead and replace x with 4 now. And let me go ahead and copy the original problem here. x f of x plus f of x plus 2 equals x squared. And I could probably think of an alternative solution after I do this. Maybe I'll show you that as well. Anyways, if x is equal to 4, then we get 4 times f of 4 plus. Now, if you replace x with 4 here, you're going to get f of 6 equals 4 squared. That's going to be 16. Now, f of 4, we know from the previous equation, f of 4 is equal to 4. So let's replace f of 4 with 4. And now you're going to get 16 plus f of 6 is equal to 16. Wow, that's interesting. We're getting 0 again f of 6 is equal to 0, right? Okay, cool. Now, next thing I need to do is finding f of 8. Do you think that's going to be 4 again? I get 0, 4, 0, and now what is the next one? So let's go ahead and replace x with 6 next. Again, my equation would be x f of x plus f of x plus 2 equals x squared. I don't mind writing it over and over. Now, if you replace x with 6, you're going to get 6 times f of 6 plus f of 8 equals 6 squared, which is 36. Now, we do know that f of 6 is equal to 0, right? And then if you plug it in, you're going to get a 0. And from here, f of 8 is going to be 36. All right? And obviously, by the same token, I could find f of 10, f of 12. Can I find f of 11, f of 9? Can I find the odd numbers? That's going to be an interesting question. Now, I'm also thinking I could take this equation and replace x with several uh, different values, and then hopefully by adding subtracting, I can get rid of it as a system, but I'm not sure if that's going to work nicely. Anyways, this works. We do know that. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.